Hi, welcome. We're going to go over the configuration of BSP WM. And we are actually in the folder BSP WM in here in our top config. And we see that there is an auto start, and we have explained this in a previous tutorial. Next one is BSP WM RC. It says launch auto start. That's uh, this one. So actually, it starts with this one and says go get that one, and then it continues its story. It says, I want to deconfigurate the border width. I want to configure the window gap. Top padding 10, false, some colors. Um, we don't see the colors. So let's quickly do that. Settings view, install packages, pigments. Yes, yes, that's enough. And let's wait, and there they are. So these are the colors. It's a darker color. And that's this one then. And then the focused border color and the feedback color are this kind of color. So if you want to change your thing because of I don't know what reason, then you can do so here. These are the colors. And uh, more in settings you can try out with just saying, hey, true and false, because these are binary things. It's on or off and test it out. Then we have the single monitor option. We have here monitor to 1 to 10. So we have 10 elements here. And when I'm installing this thing on my uh, SSD, I'll just say, don't want you, but I want this one. Why? Well, we get here these 10 elements, which is great on one screen. When we have two, I would like to have uh, the five first on my left screen and the five last, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on my second screen. And that's possible. It's just with these lines. If I don't do that, it will be all on line on screen one, I think. But I always do this one because I want to have five screen to the left and five screen to the right. And if you scroll a little bit further, you see this is it. This is your configuration file. It's nothing. It's 60 lines, even even not 54, 54 lines. And a lot of is hashtagged out. So this is a quite small configuration and it just works. It runs. So what is he, what do we say? We say if you start Inkscape, you do it in full screen. If you start Spotify, you do it in full screen. VLC, full screen, GNOME disks, full screen, all the virtual box stuff, full screen, MPV, full screen, nitrogen, uh, uh, sorry, floating. We already saw in a previous tutorial how to, uh, what it looks like for nitrogen. We said, hey, let's install another wallpaper and let's do it again with this one, apply. And then this is floating. It's, 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 it's here. It's, uh, actually like this can be managed but it's floating it's on top of everything else super shift q and it's gone again so nitrogen a render all these things are floating 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 and a rule here that says that xfc settings manager should be tiled i wanted it to be tiled so Control alt m is still available and it's it's visual it's it's nice if I don't say tiled, it's floating, and I didn't want that. So now it's decided. It's tiled. You can always change, of course, to floating, and that's that. And all the rest is hashtagged out. Some things that we said, no, we don't want those things to be floating. So when we don't, when you don't say it's floating, it's going to be tiled, as simple as that. So this is our BSP WMRC, and that's all there is to say for this file.